What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Bolero. Sam here with Gab and Maui. Say hello, guys. Hello, we're back. Yeah. Okay. What a game. Okay. Wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. We're going to talk about, probably, I would say, one of the best games of the season so far. If not the best game of the season so far. We're going to talk about that UP versus LaSalle game we just witnessed. What a crazy game. Game of Runs. Wala nang segment-segment dito. Instant reactions. Let's hear your instant reactions on that amazing game. Let's start with you, Maui. <laughs> What a game. Hindi ka natatawa. Uh, wala, natatawa lang ako kasi what a blunder kasi, by LaSalle. Kasi alam kung mag-cheer siya for UP or LaSalle. Alam mo, wait lang, before before we, actually, before we go ganun to your reaction, Maui, gan, gan, ganun yung feeling ko, to be honest. Um, Alam nyo, UP ako, pero I I just wanted an exciting game. So nung nag-run yung isang team, mag-cheer ako dun sa ano yung kalangan humabol kasi... Parang ang saya, ang saya nung back and forth nila. But anyway, sige, go ahead, Maui. Yeah, uh, actually, to be honest, nagpre-prepare na ako, mag-shot sana ako ng green. Uh, so, <laughs> think ko sana yung t-shirt ko na sinot dati na green nung isang episode natin. Uh, but, UP, uh, it's now 6-0. and zero. Uh, What a blunder by Lasal. I would say blunder. Because they scored 3 points, a total of 3 points during the third quarter. They shot 1 for 21 from the field. Uh, it looked very bad in the third quarter. They clearly missed Evan Nelly. Uh, Kevin Chambao picking up his third foul was detrimental to the team's offense, definitely. Uh, I don't know, yung lineup that, that Coach Topix went, uh, I was really... Talagang sinuffle na yung players. I, I'm, I'm guessing nahirapan din siya to find the combination. That can create he was finding you. He was searching for answers on yung, okay. oh, yung on his bench. Yeah, if you watch yung game, nakita mo sila Golena, talagang iniikot niya si Polycarpio. Everyone was getting in the third quarter. Stretch yung ginawa niya. Yeah, stretch the third quarter. Uh when this was this was when KQ picked up his third foul kasi clearly when KQ went off the floor, Lasal struggled mightily dun sa sa zone defense ng UP. It's crazy. They scored 3 points. They scored the first basket if I'm not mistaken, nung third quarter. So it was a 12-point lead. Uh, and then UP went on a, what, 19-0 run to end the quarter. Lasal couldn't buy a bucket. Uh, th- there were a lot of second-chance points. They shot 21 times third quarter alone and only made one basket. Imagine that. Less than 5% from the field. I, I don't think I've ever seen something like that uh, in the UAAP. Uh, maybe we've seen quarters where teams score 6 or 7 points. But one field goal for the whole quarter, that was crazy. That's my That was my instant reaction. Um, but yeah, uh, even though that happened, Lasal fought, fought hard. And uh, they almost won the game. Uh, had it not been, maybe, if Austria didn't cramp up nung, nung dulo, maybe he m- would have made that put-back basket. Uh, my my initial take on Lasal is Mike Phillips really played a hell of a game kanina. He battled with Malik Diu. Although Malik Diyo... What a put-back dunk! What, what a put-back dunk! Highlight. <laughs> what a put back dunk. Highlight, highlight uh, of actually, the season. Yeah, I would say probably in the top 5 or top 10 place of the season, we'll definitely see that. Uh, actually, guys, kami nung cousins ko kanina, nag, nag-watch party kami on Discord to watch the last time UP game. Lahat kami na pasigaw nung, nung nag-put-back dunk si Mike Phillips kasi that's not something you see in the Philippines, let alone sa Philippine basketball in the college uh, level. Uh, that was crazy. Mike Phillips was really active the whole game. And uh, I think you concerning lang talaga for now, for me, is much like Ateneo, the Sal could have easily been 5-1. and one, uh, But we have been talking about this since the preseason. Last, uh, we were talking about La Sal's health. Uh, si Evan Nelly missed his first game. Si Gab mentioned on our chat si... Si Mark Nonoy, uh, I think, tweaked his ankle for the third time. Uh, si Mike Phillips, I think, on two or three separate occasions also tweaked his ankle and his knee. So, so it's, uh, I think it's crazy. Uh, if Lasal doesn't get healthy, they're at 3-3. Three and three. Anything can happen in Season 86. Uh, triple tie na, Ateneo, UP, Adamson. You guys were right. Hindi ko alam 
kung kakampi ba ako sa Lasal. Ateneo Lasal Adamson. Ateneo Lasal. Yeah, sorry. Ateneo Lasal and Adamson. Di ko alam kung kakampi ako sa Lasal because if Lasal loses, which they did, it's now a triple tie for the third place between Ateneo, Adamson, and Lasal. Uh, but we don't Pero want... Pero kumunalo, Lasal. We don't want a step ladder. Step ladder. Yeah. yeah, but we... <laughs> but UP still has eight games to play, but uh, so far... FPU and Lasal gave us a scare, gave UP a scare, and I think maybe in the second round some other teams can give them a scare. Maybe at the this Sunday, but I'm not optimistic. Uh, yeah, what's your initial thoughts? Uh, in the first quarter, I thought Lasal played really well. KQ came out firing. Uh, even if UP you made a run in the second quarter, Lasal I thought showed great composure and. Uh, Answered back, Waki Manuel made a pull up jumper, attacked Malik Juf. You got an end one, three point play. Oh, yeah. oh pasok yung free throw, pare. And I was telling you guys in the chat, the play after he did the look, uh, the look cornet contest, he jumped from the paint, contesting a three point shot. <laughs> I'm like, wow, <laughs> Waki Manuel. Uh, but yeah, um, in the third quarter, my goodness sake. Uh, actually, it wasn't much on the players, more of on Coach Topex. Uh, coach, run a play or something. Uh, have a different set. Hindi lang puro ikot bola yung hanap ng, ng three-point shooter. Something. Screen off ball. Yung screen the, the, the guys who are in the zone to get someone in the middle free. I don't know. Do something. They were, he wasn't doing anything in the third quarter. He was just yeah, shuffling yeah, players yeah. in and out, but, but yeah, running yeah, yeah. the same play. Kaya sakit ng ulo. So, uh, well, ako na sasakit sa tatan ulo. Was, he was obviously not adjusting his offense in any way. And, uh, you know, I, I can, you know, I get that he shuffled his players and searching for answers, but at some point, you know, you gotta tell your players na, hey, this is what we're gonna run against their zone, because they've been <laughs> they ran that zone for the entire quarter, and they still didn't know what to do against it. It was it was uh, sobra crazy, and I think I'm proven right when I said even in the preseason and up to this season that they really have no half court game. Yeah, Lasal has no half. Actually, it should be. Talagang yeah, wala. As in, sobrang struggle sila in the half court, and you know if if I'm other teams, I'm looking at what UP did, and I've said, Oh, I'm going zone every slow time. Slow down the game. Yeah, slow down oh, the game. Slow down the game. I think that's what Ateneo you... did also with versus Lasalle. Yep. Which is why they exactly. won. Slow and, down the game. And also what NU did. And you slowed down the game against Lasalle and forced them to execute in the half court, which they rarely could do. The I think they felt the, the absence of Evanelli today. Diba? Ma- yeah, um, yeah, makita yeah. mo eh, especially no third quarter, makita mo na they had no one to tell them, they had no coach on the floor to tell yeah. them to where to go or someone just to say, you know, okay, this is the play we're running. I'm going to do something with it. Nothing. Nothing at all. That was the most frustrating quarter I've ever watched in the UAAP. Literally just multiple possessions of running the same damn thing. And ah, it they were lucky to be back in it in the Fourth quarter. I, I, I questioned why UP did away with the zone. Diba? I mean, if it, if it was working for the whole quarter, why did you go away from it in the fourth? Actually, it allowed the Sal to come back. Yeah, actually, oh. gab, gab, five minutes to fourth quarter, the Sal was still tra- struggling. I was talking to my friends, the Lasalista. Sabi ko, grabe yung Lasal. It's been 15 minutes. I think they have four points. Yep. And you know, I will. And uh, in crunch time, I think UP made the better plays. Well, yeah. the, the ball bounced the right way. But yeah, Malik Juve got, a, I think, three offensive rebounds. Uh, Harold Alarcon defended KQ so well. So well. Except yung lucky shot ni KQ that unit bounced in. That was good defense by Harold yeah. Alarcon. A bit of flopping. Uh, I get where KQ is coming. Um, Harold Alarcon was flopping a lot. He wasn't being called for it. But yeah, uh, Lasal turned the ball over of a rebound where they could have pushed the ball and got in a bucket. 
Uh, Mike Phillips missing one free throw. Rush shots from Mark Nonoy. KQ yung with a rush shot. Just uh, lack of composure for Lasal. Lack of composure. And UP with... Actually, may konting lack of composure in ng UP. But they made the right place in the end. And they escaped with a win. They're undefeated. And ako, same as you guys, I'm not optimistic by Ateneo's chances on Sunday. <laughs> UP just looks hella deep. UP, UP just looks hella deep. Kahit Monte, Monte finally diba? broke out. Actually, yeah, actually, Actually, a weird yeah. no breakout ni Belmonte because he broke out against Lasal in the Phil Oil, Phil Oil doing the exact same thing, shooting threes, and they weren't guarding Belmonte. I'm like, bro, he he got 20 points against you in the free season. Why aren't you guarding him? <laughs> Iba yung asin so, ni Belmonte that, so, so that was weird to me. <laughs> and also an under player who played really well for, well for UP, and I think was played really well the entire season, is uh, Jerry Abajano. Yeah, you just uh, go. We have to give him his flowers. We almost cut him. Yes, remember, we almost. Yeah, I think we, were <laughs> we on almost cut him in our. We were not hundred percent sure that, that he would make it. But <laughs> yeah. pero without Terence Fortea, he's now become the shooter on this team. Aside from Casino, but in the first unit, he's now kind of become the shooter on this team. They're running off ball screens for him, and he made the biggest shot of the game. The the shot to give them the lead. When, when it was tied at 63. So, I think the player of the game it has to be Jerry Abajano. Sam? Yeah. Yeah, just just jumping on yung depth ng UP and talking about Jerry Abadiano, no? Sinulit ko, the one note that I wrote down at the start of the game pa lang was, UP is so deep, I completely forgot about Abadiano and Fortea. As in, kinalimutan ko na. Because I think Abadiano did not play in the previous games, di ba? So, completely forgot about Abadiano and Fortea hasn't played the entire season. Tapos pinakita na si Abadiano. Sabi ko, oh, he's 30. Nandiyan pa nga pala si Abadiano. Tapos pinakita si Fortea um, during the halftime show. I was like, this team is so deep. Hindi mo naramdaman na nawawala sila. Y- you know what I mean? Like, hindi ka lang eh. I mean, they have the luxury of not having, missing these guys. And they don't miss a beat. Unlike, let's say, Lasal, di ba? Like, you miss one player, or even Ateneo, you miss one player, you miss Gab Lopez. Ang laking nawawala eh dun sa team. So, for me, that was like the the the, the one thing that I noted for UP. Um, you you mentioned Belmonte was sort of like their magic kugot or bunot for this game. I think, you know, another surprising thing for me for UP, Malik Diouf, he, he, he didn't, look right. He didn't look 100%. And he, looked, <laughs> he wasn't. He, yeah, he, he wasn't. Looked, he tweaked his knee. Yeah, he looked terrible for most of the game. Tapos, may kita mo na lang, best player of, player the, game, of the game. 10 points, 18 rebounds, 2 blocks. I'm like, this is not even his best game. I, I was gonna say nga, susulit ko parang Malik Diouf, really bad game, and yet they won. Tapos biglang nagulit na lang ako, best play, player of the game siya, 10 points, 18 boards. I I don't know, just like you guys, I don't know, I don't know who can beat UP to be honest. And I think I sent this sa uh, Telegram. Um, This season, Ateneo has been notorious during the third quarter, di ba? They've been really bad pagdating ng third quarter. And if this is any indication, if Lasal only scored three <laughs> points against UP, paano pa yung Ateneo? I wouldn't be surprised kung less than three points yung ma-score ng Ateneo in the third quarter. But we'll see, di ba? I mean... To be it, fair, I think Coach Tab would have adjusted his offense at that. <laughs> dun, dun yeah. sa ano, dun sa... Uh, you know, oh, after a few presents, he would have oh, made man. adjustments. Coach Topex oh, did nothing. Yeah, yeah. Oy, pero guys, remember Ateneo also has uh, 10 minute no field goal droughts during its previous game. Yes. 7 yes. minute, 10 minutes. Exactly. So it's scary what can happen it's to scary. Ateneo given how uh, UP really controlled the third quarter during this game. Uh, Tam, I was also going to comment yung kay Malik Diop actually. Uh, when it was post game, they were showing the player of the game. I was expecting probably si Jerry Abadiano because. Abadiano? He, yeah, yeah. Yung, yung mga team, yung mga shots niya ba dyan yung was was patay sunog in Filipino oh. terms nga kanina. The three he made no first quarter was the ones that propelled UP to start their run, 
in that uh, game 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 winning jumper um was really crucial but Malik Biyu had 18 rebounds two blocks I think this is what why we always hype up having Malik Biyu uh, it's similar to how we hyped up Ateneo having Ange Kwame before even if Malik Biyu has an off game the impact he has on the floor yung defensive impact niya is so much uh, si uh, I think si coach yeah. Olsen and si Boom yung the one called the game Coach Olsen said that uh, actually Mal- the, Malik Diouf patrolling the paint, the paint during the second half, Lasal couldn't get any baskets from the paint. Um, but yeah, I also agree. I think Lasal, much like what Gab said, I think Lasal really didn't have that much composure. Um, grab yung tirani, Mark Nonoy, and some of the shots KQ took was questionable also. I think he got position and then he rushed the shot. Uh but yeah, uh, it's crazy. Uh, everyone's hyping up Lasal. They're now three and three, tied with Ateneo and Adamson. And I just gotta talk about that last play that Coach Topex ran. Uh, Waki yeah. Manuel, my God, what what was that pass? <laughs> Short, grabe. The baby niya ata. Short and a bit, but you, uh, I think also credit goes to UP's defense. They knew where Lasal was going. And the problem was, uh, Lasal didn't adjust in the last play. I mean, Alarcon was already guarding where he expected. I think it was Nonoy was go- where Nonoy was going to be up, yung up n- near the half court line or near the three point line, and Nonoy still went there. Alarcon was there already, bro. Get out of the way. Uh, <laughs> go somewhere else. You know. Uh, I know you're running a play, but you got to read the defense as well. So, a lot of boneheaded plays talaga for Lasal. And that uh, they wasted how many seconds trying to foul UP? Yeah, what, 19, nine, so I think three. Three or four, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think 11, Maui, from like 11. 11 lang ba? Three. Parang I think uh, more eh. But yeah, that was crazy. The time they wasted. Huh? Then they, have a, they, they still had to fa- a foul to give after that. Diba? In presence of mind. Yeah. So, but, but oh, walang this LaSalle team, man, is so frustrating. Uh, you can see at times, man, they, they look unstoppable. They look like one of the best team in the UAP. But it's games like this that remind me uh, it's not all about, you know, talent or flashy plays. Uh, you you gotta think about the game. You basketball is a mind game, and for UP just out strategized uh, Lasal. I mean, come on, oh, Ma, we were saying something. Yeah, actually, got bit uh, similar to that. Yung yung dadagdag ko. Uh, I think what this has shown is that talent alone is not enough. Uh, Lasal has shown that they have. I mean, look at the bright side. I guess for Lasal. Uh, they showed today that they are capable, capable of beating a team like UP. The problem is, much like their game with NU, this counts as a loss. So despite them, despite everyone ranking them up, despite everyone saying how scary they, they are, they are now three and three and tied for third and fourth with Ateneo and Adamson. Uh, I think that's crazy. Um, that they are tied with Ateneo and Adamson. But uh they could have easily been five and one much like Ateneo, but I think Lasal has been playing better, a lot better than than Ateneo has been. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is, I guess, a byproduct of the crazy off-season we've had. The UAAP so far has been crazy. There have been five overtime games and a countless number of games that have gone down the wire. Uh, UP at NU lang talaga is really ahead of the pack right now. Uh, UP... Like uh, I agree with you, Sam. Uh, we've been saying this the whole season. I'm not sure if UP will lose a game this season. Yeah, just just to add on that, no, uh, a loss is a loss. But I think I think may silver lining din naman for Lasal here. Looking at the bright side, they did compete. That was the question that we asked, and I know a lot of like people commented, "What are you talking about? UP will destroy Lasal." Um, it was a close game. And they didn't have Evan Nele, And that was a huge, huge loss for them. Despite, to be fair, UP was not complete. Malik Diouf was not healthy. But the fact na 
your second best player and probably your best playmaker is missing from the team and you almost and you had so many chances to win this game i think um may may, may moral victory din for lasal kahit na talo sila um it just goes to show they can compete they can compete with the best teams they can go toe to toe with nu they can go toe to toe with up uh, they just need to go back to the drawing board um Dina, we're we're recording this as soon as the game ended, so we haven't heard from the uh, post-game press, con- press, press conference of con- teams. I'm interested to hear what Coach Topex will will talk about. Uh, go, Gab. Gab, Gab you're Gab. muted. Ah, uh, yung uh, another thing. I think if, if we're give, giving another you know bullet of game aside from Coach Topex. Uh, Mark Nono, I think, should have taken charge more. I mean, he's, he's he's the veteran on this team. He's been to a UAP finals. Uh, I thought he you know he rushed a lot of shots. He made some big plays. Don't get me wrong, made a lot of ton of big plays. But in that third quarter, when they were struggling for offense, he had to be the one to know. You know, try you try to make a play. Uh, Coach Olsen, you mentioned this in the broadcast. You beat a zone by one, uh, hitting outside shots. And getting dribble penetration and then kicking out. You're trying to get the zone to rotate. No one was doing that for Lasal. They were just literally passing the ball around from, from side to side, looking for someone to make a play. No one wanted to make a play. And they just end up passing and then hit, shooting from the outside. No one wanted to, to take it up upon themselves to try and break down that zone. And I thought that, you know, Mark no, no, this is... You're the veteran. You're this is your last year in the UAP. You, you could have done something more to try and break down that zone. Uh, I, I I just thought you know he's. I think we've talked about this many times. He's very erratic at times. You mark Nonoy, and sometimes he just doesn't slow the game down. Same thing for KQ. I, I thought a couple of times, uh, Coach Topex. Uh, did signal to KQ to try, hey, ca- calm down, relax. calm down. You can't, you don't have, you don't, you don't, hi- ah, relax. You don't have to rush you know, the action every time. And the two of them, man, I I thought they rushed it at times and it showed it at the end. Those two shots, uh, six KQ, you know, about two or three shots, na, I think rushed it. See, Mark Noina, you also rushed, rushed a shot in the that final, was a crazy in the final shot. Minutes. The bar with time to spare crazy. on the shot clock. Layo, Mark, layo, what layo, are you man. doing? <laughs> to, yung, but to be fair, he's proven that he could hit that shot. I mean, yeah. uh, yung back in his USD days, diba? Coach Alden Ayo, you gave him the license to shoot from there. So I think you know, that's what he was thinking. But in my opinion, you could have gotten a better shot. Uh, there was a ton of time on the shot clock. Ay, naka frustrate ang lasal na yun, man. Imagine that's coming from an Athenian. What? Imagine how how our friends from the green side are feeling right now. Oh, oh they're probably executing Coach Topics in whatever chat groups they have. <laughs> <laughs> they're probably signing petitions now. Fire Coach Topics. But no, I I don't I don't think he should be fired. I think I've said this. It's a process. It's a process. They have to trust. It's a it. process. They, had, they, they want have to, to compete with all. the likes of UP, Ateneo, and NU. Uh, not just this season, but in the coming seasons, they have to trust the process. Uh, every th- every one of those three teams have really built a good culture. Uh, I think we can say that uh, with Coach Jeff Napa and Coach Gold. And separate with Ateneo, Coach Tab, uh, I think... Lasal has to give Topex a chance. Uh, this is different from Manong Derek. I think uh, the players of Lasal, yung reactions sila are more upbeat. Uh, they're also saying that it's not only about basketball, but Coach Topex is really molding them uh, into men. Uh, so yeah, uh, but it's Lasal, much like Ateneo, there will also be pressure. I mean, we saw during the last press conference that Coach Topex mentioned that Madami na naman coach online. Uh, and uh, the, I think the pressure is mounting for Lasal. I mean, they could have performed really well and everyone knows it. Uh, they, If you watch all of the Lasal games, all three of those games were, all three of their losses were winnable games. So they could have easily had a better record now. 
Nako, I hope Maui si Coach Topex hindi nanonood ng boleros kasi baka magalit siya kay Gab dahil sinasabihan na naman siya ni Gab. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, we love Coach Topex. <laughs> I love Coach Topex, but this was we not his best love. game. Okay. This was not his best moment, his best game. I mean, or any of the coach, coaches on the bench. I mean, Kaloy Garcia, you've coached in the PBA for such a long time. You don't know how to work against a zone? Come on, coach. Uh, I don't want to give a shout out if there if there was one coach who did sh- shine brightly in this game again. Uh, UP's defensive coordinator, I gotta know his name, man. He, he's the guy who's always there on the sidelines, you with an iPad. I got I gotta get his name. If 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 anyone knows his name, please comment down below. Uh, but yeah, I think he's he has to get a, co- a head coaching gig somewhere. He uh, needs a raise. He, yeah, he, he needs, needs a raise. A significant raise uh so someone tell me his name he, he's the guy who's always standing he's the guy coordinating the defense in every U, up possession so i think he, he deserves a big w he deserves a big baller um amazing job just drawing up those defensive sets for you he's an unsung hero for this season all right okay that's it for our yeah. quick reactions <laughs> quick to reactions the craziest game. To the LaSalle UP game. Um, probably one of the craziest and best games. Even though it didn't get to overtime and marami na tayong napanood na overtime game still has to be one of the <laughs> craziest games. I'm sure a lot of the listeners here right now, you have your own comments. You have your own reactions. Uh, after this, After you watch this, people have probably are probably done with the press conference. We're also interested to hear what people will say. So we'll probably comment down below any um, additional reactions on our end. Before we end, I just want to give a quick shout out to my sister-in-law, Ate Karen. Um, if, Gab, you know this, I'm super superstitious, di ba? Uh, if I know na malas ako, I will not watch a game. My sister-in-law, super superstitious, has not watched a game uh, a champ, uh, finals game the past two seasons kasi feel niya siya ang malas. Decided to watch today's game. Ninaloko ko siya. Sabi ko, oy, pagtalo, alam na. But congrats, <laughs> he was able na. to watch. UP ba siya sa? Muntigan na. Muntigan na. Baka yan. UP. UP. Diehard UP fan. Diehard UP fan. Almost. Almost. Went to Moa to watch the game. What a game yung napanood niya. So, congrats to UP. Congrats to her. Uh, to all our listeners, Comment down below. Initial reactions, thoughts. Sino ang makakatalo sa UP? Meron ba? Comment down <laughs> below. If you haven't yet, don't forget like and subscribe. For the rest of the games, stay tuned. We'll do a separate podcast for that kasi this is just... This different. had to had, have its own. We, uh, <laughs> we had to do this first. Thanks. Amazing game. See you again next time. Bye-bye.